Hi friends, good morning. Please look at the next problem in uh, time and work. Friends, problem is given in the description box. See friends, P and Q can complete a work in 30 days. Whereas Q and R together can complete in 24 days. Where R and P in 20 days. Now the P, Q, R started working together. And after 10 days, Q and R left. So in how many more days P can complete the remaining work? See friends, say the total work, total work, LCM of this, 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 120 units. Total work say 120 units. That means P plus Q, P plus Q 30 force. P plus Q together can do 4 units of work per day because they complete the total 120 units of work in 30 days. That means they can do P plus Q together can do 4 units work per day. 120 by 30. In the same way Q plus R 24 fives, 5 units and R plus D 6 units. That means P plus adding these 2, adding these 3 we get 2P, 2Q, 2R. 2 into P plus Q plus R is equal to 15 units. So P plus Q plus R is equal to 15 by 2 units. So P plus Q plus R together, P plus Q plus R together can do 15 by 2 units work per day. They work together, P plus Q plus R work together, started working together. And after 10 days, Q and R left. That means P plus Q plus R worked for 10 days. In 10 days, in 10 days, how much work will be completed? 15 by 2 into 10, 2 fives, 15 fives, 75 units of work will be completed. And the remaining work, 120 minus 75, remaining work is equal to 45 units. This 45 units of work must be completed by A. Q and R left. So, this 45 units of work must be completed by A. Sorry, P. What is the capacity of P? See, P plus Q plus R 15 by 2 means 7.5 units. Q plus R 5 units. P plus Q plus R 7.5. Q plus R 5. So, P 7.5 minus 5. P can do 7.5 minus 5 that is equal to 2.5 units per day. Units per day. So the remaining work is 45 units. The remaining work is 45 units. So P takes to complete this 45 units of work in 2.5 days. 2.5 days. So this is equal to 450 by 25, 25, 18. So, P can complete the remaining work in 18 days. Thank you.